And so it came to pass that the ancient people of Gladstone, having discovered a method of controlling the magics, rose unto power amongst the barbarous tribes of the Great Wasteland. Thus it happened that King Andrew, 13th heir to the throne of Gladstone, descended into the depths of the Irbish Highlands, and there the Shard of Truth called unto Andrew, and he was smitten by its righteousness. For three times twenty generations the people languished in darkness, until Sir Michel Robard unearthed the Ruby of Truth. Verily it is written that the stone spoke unto Robard, and Robard offered up the ruby unto the heir of the throne of Gladstone. Only once has the ruby and the shard been combined. Truth was unbound, and all known forms of deceit were unveiled, and this unveiling wreaked havoc upon the denizens of the netherworld, and the nether beasts withdrew from the lands. And it was good, and a great peace fell upon the lands, and this too was good. For my part, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. The city of Wyville is home to a wonderful little pub full of personable folk. Bruno's Lodge offers a wide range of fine vintages. Cabernets from the Wyvel Valley, and Chardonnays from the Irbish Highlands. Bruno also carries a splendid selection of ales, imported from the finest breweries in the lands. The Grey Eagle Inn, nestled in a Southland Glen, exudes country charm. Tyrus McCubbin has a knack for turning common roast boar into a fantastic hunter's stew. The Grey Eagle's few rooms are seldom vacant. So send word ahead if you wish to stay at this quaint inn. Though we travel the world over to find the beautiful, we must carry it with us, or we find it not. Grisbull's rusty gate warrants a second look from visitors to this farming community. Large pints and small fees keep the clientele quite content. The farm fresh food enhances the taste of even the simplest of meals. If you are traveling through the lands, be sure to stop at these fine inns and rest your bones. Never drink from underground waters. These will corrupt the heart and taint the mind. Many a twisted soul met its fate through unwise drinking. An emerald blade can be of great assistance when dealing with the long dead. It is said that these tired souls despise being disturbed, but no longer fear the threat of plain iron. The reputed powers of valence cubes appear highly exaggerated. Surely no object could truly drain the magic essence from a living being. The Gorka, while fierce warriors, are actually quite civil creatures. Their love of trade is well known amongst peddlers. 